This is a video to show you how to disassemble and pack your Street Strider 3i. What we're going to do first is look at the set of tools you'll need to do this properly, get it back in the box so it's protected. Here's basic components from your tool kit. You're going to use the assembly, these uh, Allen wrenches and the uh, opening wrenches that you use for assembly. But there's a few other things you're going to need. This is a crank arm remover tool that you can get from a bike shop. Usually they'll lend it to you. It's very inexpensive to buy one even. Here's another version of that that you use a wrench with. You'll need a pair of scissors to clip off a few zip ties, a pair of pliers to help take a few things apart, and you'll use some zip ties. You can get a pack of these for about 50 cents or a dollar, and you're going to use these to strap things together and uh, affix it so it doesn't move around in the box. A few small bags to put your parts in, and then some tape. This is on a tape gun here that we use, but you can get just a round uh, dispenser, plastic dispenser of tape. That works fine. In addition to the tools and the other packing materials we just described, you're also going to have to have the original packing material that came with your Strider. The original box, the bottom plate, the big piece of foam that went underneath everything, and then all the other small pieces of foam that we use to wrap around the individual frame parts. Okay, here's the first few steps to take a few things apart in preparation of disassembly. We're going to take a set of scissors and we're going to go up here and we're going to snip these zip ties off on both sides so that the cables are no longer attached to these strider poles. The next thing to do is take the caps off the valve stems of the tires, use a three or a four millimeter Allen wrench, push in the button or the valve stem and deflate all three tires. Once the tires are deflated, make sure you put the valve stem caps back on. And now we're going to go around to the front end. And on these brake cables here, there's a cable end of those. So you'd have to take a pair of pliers, squeeze it together, usually in the opposite direction the way it was squeezed on, and pull those off. Okay. Then you're going to take your 4 millimeter wrench and you're going to unscrew the clamping screw that holds that cable there. Take it out to the point where the cable is now loose, and you can pull the cable out this way and let it hang down. Now we're going to repeat the same over here. Take the cable end first off this, and then loosen that screw and pull the cable out. After you take the brake cables out here, tighten up the fixing screw so that that doesn't rattle loose and fall out during transport, and then also tighten up this little barrel adjuster so that stays there. Before any of the main frame is disassembled, we're going to wrap some of the frame parts with some foam that you have from your uh, packing material, or you can buy more foam, but you want to wrap the main frame, put a piece of tape on that, wrap it in a couple and tape it down in a few spots, like this. All right, so this is protected. We're also going to wrap the head tube here with a piece of foam. We're going to lift it up high enough so that it extends up here. When this folds down, this will rest on the mainframe. And we're going to throw a piece of tape around that. And maybe one more right around here. Now we can go ahead and get ready to fold this. Next step is, is to remove your crank arms from the bottom bracket. That's the bottom bracket. These are the crank arms. These are the crank bolts. We're going to take the 8mm wrench, Allen wrench that you have, and we're going to take out the crank bolts. We'll put these in a plastic bag. All right, now we're going to use a tool to actually pull the crank arm off of the bottom bracket spindle. And you'll notice that this part right here is threaded. And that's threaded so that you can actually have a crank arm puller go in there and hold onto that. And then this center part goes pushed through onto the spindle and pulls the whole crank arm off. This is a separate piece that you can get. And if you screw this one on like this, then you need a wrench. Tighten this up and then you screw this all the way in to pull it off. So that's one type. This is usually a couple bucks or so from a bike shop. The other kind that the bike shop often has is one where it's all one unit. You have the lever on it. 
And if this is the type you use, you're probably going to have to move the pedal up a little bit like this so the crank, so this crank arm puller tool can miss that. But this is the kind that bike shops have. They usually let people borrow these things and you screw this in to the crank arm like that. It usually goes all the way in. And then you just screw this part down the center and what it does is it pulls that crank arm now and you can see it clears over here at this point. And you screw this around and what it does, it pulls this crank arm right off the bottom bracket. So it comes off like, let's make sure it comes off like that. Okay, once that's off, you can take the chain off and then you can take the crank arm remover tool right out of the crank arm. And you perform the same function on the left side as you did on the right side. The right crank arm was removed. We had a crank bolt. We just took the left crank arm off with the same tool on that side. We took the two crank bolts and we dropped them into a plastic bag just to house the parts. The other thing we did is we took a piece of packing tape, wrapped it around the upper pole onto the lower pole so this doesn't slide in, and we unscrewed this part over here, which is the joint one clamp. We unscrewed the cap, took it off, put the cap back on it again, and now this pole is off and is separated completely. The pole and the strider ski is separated completely from the mainframe. The next thing we're going to do here is show you the details of that. So we'll take a piece of packing tape, wrap it around this, and all that does is prevent this upper pole from sliding into the lower pole when you take these screws out. We'll then use the four millimeter wrench and unscrew this cap with these four screws. I got these three screws loose. I have the last one to get loose here. This comes off. Now the pole is separate. We can let the pole rest down there. It rest on the cables. It won't hurt the cables. And now we'll put this back on in preparation for packing. All right, so we have the screws back in to secure the cap of the clamp. And now what we're going to do is fold the head tube down. But before we fold it, what we're going to do is take the inner pole out of the lower pole, set this down, remove, we can set it right on here for now, and remove this piece. Same thing on the other side. We're going to separate the upper pole from the lower pole, set that down, and remove this piece out of the way. And now we can go ahead and fold this unit. So we're going to lift this up, slide it off the shelf, pull it in to the right side, and then lower this down carefully while these poles are here. All right, and the poles can then rest on the table. Now that we have the upper poles loose, and we don't need this tape here where it was holding it from sliding in, we're going to take this piece of tape off. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this tape right around here where the brake is, and we're going to loosen the brake lever and the shifter so that these can move around during packing, but they won't slide down here and scratch the paint. I take the five millimeter wrench and we'll loosen up the clamp that holds the brake. So now the brake can move around. And then we'll take the three millimeter wrench and we'll loosen up the shifter so that both of these can move around now. Okay, so for packing purposes, we want them to be flexible so we can keep them away from the side of the box. We'll do the same thing on the other side with the other brake lever. So we took the left pole and we used the packing material we had to wrap around here and put some tape around it so that protects the pole. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to wrap this up like this, take a piece of tape and secure that. We'll do it three places, one towards the middle, and one up on the other end. All right. So now our two upper poles are packed and ready to be put in the box with the frame.